very good day to each and every one of us. This midterm, for our project, we were asked to choose one woman which we think are considered as the most significant throughout centuries. And of course, we had to provide at least three to five reasons why we chose her. Now, it is really hard for me knowing that there are lots of them who made their names in the history. So without further ado, let us start our episode today with a bang. Yes, bang as in B for brave, A for assertive, N for never giving up, and G, which stands for the one and only Gabriela Silang. Now for those who do not know Gabriela Silang, she is the most well-known Filipina revolutionary leader against the Spanish colonialism. Let me tell you about her. Born on March 19, 1731, young Gabriela was separated from her parents at an early age. She was then raised by a priest who later married her off to a wealthy businessman named Tomas Milian in 1751. But Tomas died early in 1754. In 1757, Gabriela Carino Viuda de Milian married the anti-colonial revolutionary leader Diego Silang. Diego led one of the most famous uprisings against Spani Spaniards in 1762 until his own death and assassination in 1763. It was a revolt that quickly spread from Ilocos to Pangasinan to Abra and Tatayan. Now here's what I really like about Gabriela. Today, she is best known for continuing the revolt led by her late husband Diego Silang. She is best remembered for avenging her husband's death by taking the rule, rule of commander and the leader of the movement to liberate their people. But the thing is, even before Diego's untimely death, Gabriela was already a leading figure in the movement from being the most trusted advisor, strategizing the whole revolt to actually fighting in the front lines in their battles against Spain. Gabriela led over 2,000 rebels and defeated the Spaniards in the Battle of Santa in the town where she was born and raised. She was fierce in the battlefield, which earned the title La Generala which in turn gave us this immortalized, immortalized image of Gabriela Silang as a fierce Filipino warrior wielding a bolo on horseback. Gabriela continued the armed struggle to overthrow the Spaniards from Northern Luzon. She dedicated her life to free her people from the chains of colonialism, and even with setbacks such as the death of her husband and the failed siege of the city of Vigan, Gabriela never gave up. She continued fighting to liberate her people until her own execution on September 28, 1763, at the young age of 32. Today, Gabriela is an enduring symbol of the courage and the fierce leadership of the Filipino women. She reminds us of the significance and the necessity of revolutionary women in our quest to end exploitation and injustice in our societies, in our quest to liberate our people towards justice and lasting peace. And even though the Spaniards tried to humiliate and defame her by publicly hanging her in front of the crowded plaza, Gabriela's heroism and legacy remains powerful to this day. Today, both at home in the Philippines and abroad in places like the United States, Hong Kong, and Italy, hundreds of thousands of women, if not millions of women, are part of Gabriela, a vast network of countless grassroots organizations broke programs and institutions fighting for women's rights, a grassroots alliance that continues to empower millions of people through collective action to advance the rights of women and children. Today, in this day and age, may we honor and continue the legacy of Gabriela Silang by standing up against oppression and exploitation, by taking action towards achieving justice and peace in our communities, because without justice, there can be no peace. And without peace, prosperity will never be a reality.